Welcome to Learn Yourself. Try these sums from page number 145. Question number 1. What is the side included between angles M and N of triangle M and P? So this is our triangle M, N and P. Now side included between the angles M and N. So this is our angle M and this is angle N. So side included between these two angles is this and this side is MN. So answer is MN. Question number two. You want to establish triangle DEF is congruent to M and P. So this is our triangle D, E and F and another triangle is M and P. Using A as A congruence rule. Now A as A is angle side angle where two angles will be there and side will be included between two angles. So side will be sandwiched in between two angles. You are given that angle D equals to angle M. So angle D and angle M are equal. Angle F and angle P are equal. So angle F and angle P are equal. What information is needed to establish the congruence as per ASA? Draw a rough figure and then try. So we have drew here two triangles. Now we know that we required one side so that this criteria will work and this side has to be in between these two angles. So it has to be this side which is included between these two angles. So DF and MP has to be equal to establish this criteria. So once these two sides are equal to each other, we can establish the congruence between these two triangles as per ASA criteria. Question number three. In figure 7.27, measures of some parts are indicated by applying ASA congruence rule. State which pairs of triangles are congruent. In case of congruence, write the result in symbolic form. So now let us first see that what all parts are equal in this two triangle. So in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, we can see here that this side and this side are equal. So AB equals to EF. They both are equal to 3.5 centimeter. Now comes angle. So angle A is 40 degree and angle F is 40 degree. They both are equal. Then comes angle B and angle E. So angle B and angle E are equal. They both are equal to 60 degree. So now we have here two angles and one side. We have to see that this side is in between two angles or not. So yes, these two angles are there. This side is included between these two angles. Let us check in this that these two angles are there and the side is included between these two angles. So yes, as per SAS criteria, we can establish the congruence. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle. Now we have to write the correct name which will exactly congruent to another triangle. So angle A is congruent to angle F here. So we are going to write here F first. Then angle B is congruent to angle E. So we are going to write here E. And whatever letter is left that we are going to write here. So ABC is congruent to FED. Now let us check for the side. So AB side is equal to EF. So yes, that side has been included over here also. So these two triangles are in congruence. Second numerical, as per angle side angle, we have to check that is this two triangle are congruent with each other or not. So let us write that in triangle PQR, and triangle DEF. Let us check what all parts are equal. So PR is 3.3 whereas EF is 3.5. So first 
PR is not equal to EF. So side is not equal. Now let us check the angle. Angle D is equals to angle Q. They both are 90 degree. So we got one angle. Another angle is angle R is equal to angle E. They both are 50 degree. But we don't have any side here which is equal. So these two triangles are not congruent with each other. Third numerical. In this two triangle, we have to see that angle side angle criteria is working or not and this two triangle are congruent with each other or not. So in triangle RPQ and triangle MLN, so RQ is equal to LN. RQ is equal to LN and they both are equal to 6 cm. Now let us check the angles that angle R and angle L. They both are 60 degree and they both are equal. Now comes angle Q and angle N. They both are equal and they both are equal to 30 degree. Now side angle side criteria is working here and these two triangles are congruent with each other. So let us write the name that triangle R QP is in congruence with. Now let us check here that R is equal to L. So first we are going to write L. Q is equal to N. So we are writing N. And the last left alphabet is M. So that we are writing here. Now let us check the side. RQ is equal to LN. So RQ is here is equal to LN. So yes, our name is correct and triangle RQP is in congruence with LNM as per angle side angle criteria. Fourth numerical. In this, we got two triangles like this. That first is this triangle, that triangle ACB. And another triangle is angle DAB. So triangle DAB. Now we have to check here that angle side angle criteria we can establish between these two triangle or not. So let us take first angle. If we are considering this full angle, angle A and angle B, then in this the full angle is 45 plus 30 degree. And in this also angle B is 45 plus 30 degree. So this both angle are of 75 degree. So here if I will write angle A equals to angle B, they both are equals to 75 degree. We got one angle here. Now in both of this triangle, AB line segment is common. AB is common here in both of this. So I can write AB is equal to AB because it is common in both the triangle. It is common side in both the triangle. Now we need one more angle. Here we are taking CAB that is 30 degree. So first angle is angle CAB and another angle we are taking is angle DBA. This angle is also 30 degree. DBA. So another angle is angle DBA. And this both are equal to 30 degree. So if we will see now, we have two angle and one side. So as per angle side angle, this both triangle are congruent with each other. So our answer will be angle ADB is congruent with BCA. Now let us check our congruency is correct or not. So A is congruent with B. Yes, it is correct. And again, this A is congruent with B. Yes, our congruency is correct. Here AB is common for both of this triangle. So AB, AB will be, will get repeated in this congruency. And in between D and C will come. So yes, as per angle side angle criteria, these both triangles are congruent. Question number four. 
given below the measurement of some parts of two triangles examine whether the two triangles are congruent or not and we have to establish angle side angle congruence rule so let us take the first one our triangle is def and another triangle is triangle pqr now let us check d is 60 degree then angle q is 60 degree then angle f is 80 degree and angle r is 80 degree now which side is equal df is 5 cm and qr is 5 cm so yes angle side angle criteria we can write here and this both triangle are in congruence with each other so how to write the name first triangle we are writing def is in congruence with now d is in congruence with q because d and q both are 60 degree d is in congruence with q now e we do not know but f is in congruence with r they both are 80 degree so first we are writing q last we are writing r and remaining letter that is p that we are writing into the middle so def is in congruence with q p r now let us check as per the line segment that df has to be equal to qr so d and f they both are at two extreme so q and r they both are at two extreme so our congruency is correct here our second numerical first triangle is def and second triangle is pqr so d is 60 degree then f is 80 degree and df is 6 cm this is 6 cm now let us check for the pqr that q is 60 degree r is 80 degree and qp is 6 cm so here as we can see for triangle pqr side is not included between two angles so we cannot establish angle side angle criteria for this two triangle side has to be in between two angles it has to be sandwich between two angles but that is not the case for pqr so this two are not congruent with each other third numerical let us write the name def and p q r so e is 80 degree f is 30 degree and ef is 5 cm for pqr p is 80 degree pq is 5 cm and r is again 30 degree so here also as we can see this pq side is not included between two angles so this two triangle are not congruent with each other so triangle def is not congruent with triangle pqr fifth numerical is ray az bisect dab as well as dcb so here we are getting two triangles like this and like this that two triangles are there and respective angles are equal now we have to answer the four question first question is state three equal pairs of equal part in triangle bac and dac so in triangle bac and in triangle dac equal parts are first of all we can write ac because that is common side for both the triangle then we are writing one angle that dac this angle is equal and another angle is bac this angle this two angles are equal so we are writing angle dac is equal to angle bac and what is the reason that 
here AZ is bisecting this two triangle. So DAB is here and another one is DCB. DCB is here. These two are completely bisected by this AZ. So that's why this angle and this angle are equal what we have mentioned here. Now we required one more angle and that is angle C. So how we are going to write it? So same way we are going to mention this and this angle that DCA is equal and BCA is equal. And the reason is AZ is bisecting it. So angle DCA and is equal to angle BCA. Reason is AZ bisects them. So here we have two angles and one side. Now this side is included between these two angles. So angle side angle criteria has been established here. So these two triangles are congruent. And here we have answered the first question that these three are the equal parts between these two triangles. Now second question. Is triangle BAC is congruent to DAC? So is triangle BAC is congruent to DAC? These two triangle are congruent with each other or not? Then yes, triangle BAC is congruent with triangle DAC as per the angle side angle criteria which we have written it over here. Now third question that is AB equals to AD or not? So where is the AB? This is a AB and this is a AD. These two sides are equal or not? So yes, these two sides are equal because these two triangles are congruent with each other. And because of this congruence, the corresponding parts are equal. That's why AB equals to AD. Now fourth question is CD equals to CB. So CB is this and CD is this. So these two sides are equal or not. So yes, this both triangle are congruent. So these two sides are also equal. So as per the SAS rule, these two triangles are congruent. So corresponding parts are equal. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.